so hello guys welcome to today's video and today's video i'm going to share with you seven expert blogging tips i wish i knew before actually starting my blog so these are very key important blogging tips that i see that a lot of people don't actually know so they make these big errors whenever they are about to start their new website so in today's video i'm going to share with you these seven most important things you should know about blogging before even starting and if you already have a blog already then trust me there's nothing wrong in knowing them now so because i just knew them of recent and i realized that there was some huge mistake i made back then that i wasn't really aware of so i'm going to share with you these seven simple tips that i'm not aware of right now that i needed before that i needed four years back when i was able to start so if this is your first time on this channel this is tech youtube channel channel where i talk i share blogging tips talks about affiliate marketing and how you can take your blog and business, online business to the net, next level so if this is your first time on this channel don't forget to smash on that subscribe button like this video and tell us what you feel at the very end of this video as well so as i decide i'm going to share with you these seven expert blogging tips that you should take along whenever you want to start a new website or if you are here to start your blogging journey then trust me you met this video at the right time so with that already said let me get straight into today's video and share these seven tips with you so the first one on our list is actually choosing the right web hosting i know this might look uh, really common but trust me this is very important whenever you are about starting a new blog the reason is that the web hosting you choose will determine the future of your blog because a poor web hosting will offer you poor services such as poor contact uh, support system whereby you are unable to reach your support whenever you have an issue with your problem that you need to solve urgently Secondly, you are not going to get a steady uptime, meaning your website might not be up always. Whenever your visitors come, they are more likely to see a blank page because your hosting is poor. And thirdly, it might affect your search engine ranking because the better your web hosting, the better your ability of ranking on search engine because they are going to help you solve a lot of technical aspects of your website. And this is really important for your website to rank on Google as well. So if you are here to start a website, our advice before you choose any web hosting, uh company first of all take a look at their reviews reach out to their fellow users and in this video i'm going to recommend some of my main ones that i actually use for you as well so picking the right web hosting has a lot of things to do with your website and when you have the right web hosting and the right web hosting package trust me your blogging journey is like 20 percent already done because you, you are working with the right company that will put your work in heart so if you ask me which are the best web hosting that i can recommend so the, some of the ones i can recommend that i personally use to date is one hosting jar that's my favorite because they have a 247 support system and installing web wordpress into them is very easy and their support system is active always up to help you solve any micro issues that you are having and they've made their platform so easy that you can solve a lot of technical issues yourself as well and with hosting jar you do not have to suffer for downtime or anything whenever your website is needed trust me it's always active there they have the power to manage high high speed in your website traffic as well which is really necessary there are a lot of web hosting out there that when you get some huge amount of website visitors at at, at a go they are your website will automatically go down but with hosting yeah trust me they know how to manage this best for you and you can easily fix micro error directly from your dashboard and with hosting yeah one thing you actually get is that you get a free domain for the first one year if you are going for their one year plan you get a free one year as well so there are a lot of benefits of actually using hosting so i always recommend you if you are here to start a web, wordpress website at a budget hosting is best for you and the other two on my list is simply nameship and hosting so those are the nameship and hostgator these are the three web hosting platforms i mainly use and i personally pick hosting out of all of them so that is about the point number one here before you kick start your wordpress or your website make sure to pick the right web the right web hosting because the right platform will give you the ability to do whatever thing you want without having any issues with your website now let's move to the point number two so the second point on our list is actually choosing the right blogging platform so the right blogging platform will give you the ability to do whatever thing you want customize your website the way you want it like take a look at my website prestech.com the url will be displaying here not every blogging platform that will give you the ability to customize your website to look like that not at all not every blogging platform will give you the ability to monetize your website the way you want it that's why i always advise that if you are here to start a web a website use a platform like wordpress.org so wordpress.org gives you the ability to do whatever thing you want to do with your website unlike google blogger that has a lot of restriction because it's being managed by google and other platforms like uh, weeks and the rex which i haven't used but trust me when it comes to the most popular wordpress uh the most popular cdm which is content management platform wordpress.org is the best among all of them because they give you the ability to monetize your website the way you want it 
design your website the way you want it do everything the way you want it because it's all on you that's the ability that is why you see that most websites to date even big business websites now run on wordpress.org because you have the ability to change anything you want when you want it and with the help of plugins you can simply edit anything on your website do any automated settings yourself because there are a lot of plugins that will help you get that done and hosting that gives you the ability with just a one-time click and install once you buy a web hosting connect your dom your free domain that is given to you for one year using the affiliate link on the screen right now with, a, with just a single click of a button you can install wordpress on your uh hosting that web hosting so that is it about the point number two here simply use the right um blogging platform and wordpress.org is the recommended one and it's easy to install so now let's move so hello guys the point number three here is simply keeping regular backup of your website data so at first i actually overlooked this as when i started off perisec.com i don't run any backup until the day my website ran into a minor issue because i installed a plugin that i shouldn't have the reason was that i needed this plugin very badly and when i went to the plugins web market on the wordpress.org plugin store I, I realized that this plugin was last updated two to three years ago and it even gives me a signal that it wasn't compatible with my wordpress version because i haven't updated as of then then this thing was giving me the issue but actually i seriously needed this plugin so what i actually did was i decided to first install this plugin and during the installation process this plugin actually crashed the whole of my website down and there was no way i could get my data back because I didn't run backup i didn't tell my web hosting providers to get me a backup because on hosting jar you can simply get your backup by letting them know that okay you need your website to be backup or you can simply set up the backup process yourself but as of then when i was starting out i didn't know anything about this so i didn't even care about backing up my website so i had to lose every single data every single content i created has to go away just like that so after that i have to go back to my C panel, go to file manager and clear off everything and reinstall fresh WordPress again before I started off blogging again. And this one big mistake that I see a lot of people making. So if you are starting a website now or you already have a website, I would advise you to go and set, set up a backup system right now. And if you don't know how you can set up this system, there are some web hosting providers that don't give you the ability to make, uh, run a backup for free. So in that case, there is a WordPress plugin that I normally use and I still use to date that I'll be sharing for you. I'll be dropping a video down in the comment section on that particular video I'll drop a link to this plugin um on that particular video you, I'll show you a step-by-step -step guide on how I use that particular plugin to ba back up the whole of my WordPress website and that plugin does it automatically I've set the date the time so once that particular time reach whether I'm on my website or off this plugin will automatically back up my website and send it to my Google Drive and it's really simple you can send it to any storage system of your choice or you can store it with them but then you have to upgrade to a premium plan so that is about the point number two here run a backup of your website so that in case there's any negative effect on your site or you make any mistake you can simply reinstall this backup and continue from where you stop unlike where you don't have any backup any minor issue comes then you lose every data of your website or with a, with a backup even when your website is hacked you still have the backup information to restore it to the point it was before it was hacked again but when there is no backup once your website is being hacked or attacked by any brute force attack then your website is gone and you lose every single information every confidential information you have on your website is gone so that is about the point number three here simply make sure you have a regular backup of everything that happens on your website now let's move to the point number four so the point number four is simply learn seo but before we begin please if this is your first time on this channel and you haven't subscribed consider smashing on that subscribe button which is simply seo so seo stands for search engine optimization so if you are starting up a website that is fresh and new and you're a total beginner this one thing you should consider learning whilst building your other social media pages because with search engine because your knowledge on seo will give you the ability to rank on search engine so the more you advance your website search engine help them the more you are likely to rank higher on google and when it comes to seo seo is mainly broke is broken into three main parts which is the on page the off page and the technical aspect so the off page this is where you build backlinks you do uh content distribution content promotion and the rest so these are things you do the off page these are things you do that are outside your website but help improve your website ranking ability on search engines like google Bing, yandex and the rest and on page these are things you do within your website such as your website design making it user friendly and the rest to make sure that when users come to your website they can easily navigate it and all this comes to improve your website ranking and the final one which is really important is the technical aspect a lot of people often overlook this by 
focusing more on on page and off page seo and they forget that technical seo is really important and the technical seo this has to do with your hosting server and this plays a, an important role because it affects your website load time it affects a lot of things it even affects how long it takes it to interact with its users and this is really bad that's why i always recommend that you should go for a web hosting such as hosting jar that is really uh that has a lot of credibility in delivering quality to their users the affiliate link will be down in the video description and you can see it displaying on the screen as well so that is about the point number three make sure to learn seo as i said seo stands for search engine optimization and if you need a complete guide on everything seo i've created a playlist on this channel which is all about how to optimize your website for search engine and some tricks on how you can rack your website to that new or old faster and do where to check the video description where i'll be placing link to that particular s or seo playlist where you can learn everything seo and that playlist is updated always with newer features new, when newer uh, informations come on seo i create a video on it and share it on that particular playlist as well so that is about the point number four is simply learn seo because it will help improve your website ranking and also generate more money too because the more visitors you get to your website organically the more money you're likely to make from your website now let's move to the point number five so the point number five on our list is simply learn how to write cashy headlines so in case you don't know anything about writing headlines your your blog post headline or title is what to determine how vis whether visitors will visit your article when they see it or not because when you share that particular article on social media no one will say okay let me check out this without be, uh, have seen a cashy headline because every human being now is moved by the first word and the first things they see in every blog post are tied to added this doesn't mean you should go and do clickbait no understand the difference we have what we call clickbait and click worthy click worthy is when you use a cashy headline that matches to the content that you are providing and clickbait is when you use a headline that is totally different from the content you are delivering and i've seen a lot of bloggers using this uh clickbait method it works for some but trust me there is a day whereby it will actually affect them again so if you are starting up our advice you take your time to learn how to write cashy headlines that focus on the exact content you are uh, sharing through that particular post and make sure that the headline and the content is related so that users don't feel um users don't have bad uh thoughts about your website when you use different different headlines like i've seen a lot of people who promote pornographic things on social media meanwhile direct the traffic to their website and trust me this is really bad because you give your users a different mindset about you so focus more on learning everything your brand want because when you know the industry you work on it will be easier for you to come up with cashy headlines and you can learn how to write cashy headlines from youtube here as well by simply searching how to write cashy blog post headlines because it's really important if you have a cashy blog post headline whenever i share a blog post to social media people can easily click on the link to go and visit it and read the content in it and so do on search engines as well when people search for things on search engine you and i know that we go for the particular headline that suits what we are searching for and when we see it we just click on it once to go and visit without a second thought and you should also emulate this as well learn how to write cashy headline as it it will improve the rate at which visitors click on your web uh links to come and visit which will, in which will increase your click through rate as well so that is about the point number five here is simply focusing learning how to write cashy headlines because they are really important now let's move to the point number six so the point number six is simply building multiple sources of income with a single blog yeah i see most people when they start their blog their mind said that okay i'm starting my blog and i want to monetize my website with only adsense alone trust me only adsense won't be able to sort out your bills no matter the amount of traffic you get per month adsense won't be able to sort your bills reason is that when people uh, when you make ad revenue you share this money with adsense or like other sources of income with your blog that you own to yourself because adsense simply takes majority of the percentage i give you a little percentage that might not be able to reach out to your web hosting uh payment plan and the rest because at the end of the month we deduct the amount used for your web hosting plan and some and the time you will need to pay yourself off also when you check it out you realize that ad revenue is really nothing and when it comes to ad revenue there's a lot of ad networks that you should consider instead of focusing more that okay i only need adsense because adsense is the best adsense is not the best for everyone there's a different niche for everyone and every niche has where it works best for and when it comes to recommend and also consider learning other forms of monetization which involve affiliate marketing uh sponsorship and coaching and offering other services that is related to your niche because only ad revenue no matter the ad revenue won't be able to sort out all your bills so learn these other forms of monetization and i'll be listing 
um and i'll be dropping a video as well alongside in the comment section where you will give you the ability to see other forms of monetization and how you can utilize them to make more money from your website and also don't forget to check our latest video the top will be displaying here on how i scale a website from zero dollar to four dollar to four thousand dollar per month now let's move to the point number seven which is the final point in this video and as i said the point number six here states clearly that you should create multiple sources of income with just a single website and i've created other videos that will take you through that particular step so the point number seven is simply be consistent i know this is my keyword on on youtube and google over here so in almost every tutorial video i create i always bring this part in which is really important be consistent with anything you do on your website because what you do today might not work instantly but it will take over time for you to start manifesting because if you are working on your seo i always advise that any seo thing you do on your website you should wait for at least six months to one year before you start seeing the improvement of that particular because seo is not instantaneous nothing you do on your website to start working instantly for you unless you're using a black hat method which might affect your industry in few months time so that's it about the point number seven you simply be consistent with anything you are doing and the more consistent you are the more results you stand to gain mostly if you are consistent with your content creation and promotion trust me you are going to get faster results from blogging in no time so with that already said if this is your first time you don't forget to smash that subscribe button like this video and be consistent as well with with watching my tutorial videos because every every week i come out with two to three new tutorials that is associated with on how you can scale your your blog and take it to the next level so with that already said have a nice day bye